Thanks for joining my TikTok live. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about social media training. This doesn't necessarily have anything to do with marketing, but it does have to do a lot with uh, Instagram. I'd say Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn, since those are the three apps that I'm really, really, really happy to use every day. So I'm going to wait for a few more people to join me on the line so that we can talk about social media training, social media tips for success. I'll sit here and wait. In the meantime, if anybody has a certain app that they want to talk about, my main focus today with this training is um, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Instagram social media training. We're going to be talking about captions, videos, what kind of photos to share, how to build your online community, etc. So I'll wait on the line and see if anyone comes up with some questions. As I wait here, I'm going to work out my selfie stick. Thanks for joining everyone. Today's topic is social media training. I'm going to be talking about how to create a brand, how to build your reputation online, and how to really just gain the attention of your online tribe so that you can grow your account and be successful. So since we have a couple of people on the line, I'll get straight into it. Uh, so social media, a lot of people are creating great content on this app, which is awesome. But I really want to uh, say that being social and, you know, leaving witty comments uh, is a big part of how you can be successful. Well, that's okay, Ella. We'll go through some uh, tips and tricks and advice here. You can leave comments about social media and I'll do my best to answer your questions. So I've been using social media for a good, uh, I'd probably say six years. I think the oldest app that I had been on the longest that I don't really use anymore is uh, Facebook. You're so smart and gorgeous. Oh, thanks, Ella. I appreciate that. I thank my parents for the good looks. <laughs> so um, social media is really just a place. Just think of it as a neighborhood or school. Like you go to school and you have the cool kids and you have the nerds and you have the jockeys and the sports people and then you have like the valedictorians think of social media like school and if you guys have a job think of uh, social media like when you go to work there's always that funny person there's that person who just knows everything there's that person that you can go to for help and advice and then there are people who are just kind of you know they're trying to figure it out they're trying to get their career or their school on point and that's completely okay because everybody has a different journey i bet you're a teacher aren't you that's a good question. Um, I actually run a business. Uh, I help companies and personal brands market themselves on the internet. So I do a lot of these online um, chats kind of once a week on Instagram. So I guess you can say I'm a bit of an online teacher. And so when you're doing your social media, you of course want to know why you're there. Are you there to show your drawings? Do you like sports? Um, you know, fashion, and when you kind of figure out what you want to share, you want to create content that's really going to give something that people are excited to see again. Uh, don't worry about the followers when you join apps like TikTok and Instagram. It's really about creating, uh, thanks for joining everybody. It's creating an, an experience for people that people will never forget. And some people are just kind of creative like that. Maybe they're artists or they're musicians, so they kind of know how to create videos, they dance. You know, they do really clever stuff that really keeps people on the top of their mind. But other people like you and me, we kind of have to figure it out on, you know, on our journey of TikTok or Instagram. So when you're creating content, um, I'd really say think of how many pieces of content you can do per day. If you can only do one per post per day, that's completely fine. If you're someone that's a little bit more advanced, ask yourself on TikTok and I do three to six pieces of content per day. And if you can admit to yourself what you can and cannot do that lifts off the stress and the frustration that a lot of people have when they sign up for the app and they start sharing content, maybe they don't know what time to post, how often they should be posting, and that's completely okay. If you're fairly new to um, social media, I highly recommend that you don't, don't you know do too much. Just do what you can. I recommend one or two TikTok videos, one or two Instagram posts a day, and make sure that you know what time people are online. So if you guys have a pro account on TikTok or if you have a business account on Instagram, click on your insights on Instagram or analytics on TikTok. When you click on your analytics on TikTok, click on followers. And that will tell you the time that your followers are online. 
you want to post at those times and just remember um, the time zone for Instagram insights is Pacific Central time it's not your time zone and the time uh, on TikTok is universal uh, central time so I think that's like six or seven hours behind Eastern Standard Time so just remember that um, and then as soon as you know the topic you want to do on social media sure Elle. Ella what's your question Ella everyone that's on the line today this is a social media training tips and advice on how to improve your social media and really create content that's going to attract your online tribe your online community which is what everybody wants so Ella has a question I'll sit here and wait for Ella's question I'm patient so as soon as you know what time your followers are on, you know exactly what to post. Make sure you always post your content when people are on the app. The, the last thing you want to do is post something at 8 o'clock at night on a Sunday when people are studying, getting ready to go to work, or they're sleeping. You know what I mean? So make sure that you post at the right time and make sure that you post the same days, the same time every week. Um, because people that really like your content they're going to be looking forward to seeing that same piece of content every morning. And if you kind of start posting in the morning, then at night, in the morning and night, you're just kind of guessing when you want to post. It's not really going to help you a lot because remember, um, when you post the times that people are online, that's the best time where people are going to like your content. They're going to follow you. So Ella asks, because I do, I believe that people are well equal, are all equal. I believe that too. I do believe that, Ella. And you'd be surprised, you know, um, the Instagram days were really, really difficult. A lot of people were feeling frustrated that, you know, all the pretty girls and the good looking guys were getting all the followers on Instagram. But TikTok is completely different. Thanks for joining Cosmo person. And um, TikTok, you just really want to make sure that you're posting at the right times. Have fun and be creative um, and make sure that you're posting same days, same time so that people don't miss you. Um, I see a lot of people sometimes they kind of post they're consistent they started off really going strong with their content phase one quarantine then everybody got back to work they went back to school and some people kept doing it and some people fell off the map now well, that's not to say that we're gonna forget those people that stop posting but just show up and be consistent consistency shows to your audience that you're a professional that you really care about what you're sharing that you care for them because Let's be honest, you know, I don't follow people uh, because I really care too much about their personal life. I care, I follow people that are going to bring, add value into my life when I open TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. I want to follow people that inspire me or maybe they make me laugh or smile or they inspire me to do something. So make sure that you're consistent. If you're really serious about social media, and you know this conversation isn't really just for business people this is just social media training just be consistent show up believe in yourself because when you believe in your content people can see that they can see it by the way you show up you know the way you your tone of voice you know the words you use you know the look on your face that doesn't mean you have to you know be an actor or an actress and pretend like you're happy you know if you're not having a good day be honest Cosmo person is pretty good at that he recently did a video not too long ago and he talked about something he was frustrated with and I took a look and he that was like one of his best performing videos so you don't have to show up on social media squeaky clean and perfect all the time you're gonna make mistakes I'm gonna make mistakes but that's a part of the process that's a part of being human and people are understanding of that so just keep sharing content um, know why you're here you know what's your chief aim what's your really your short and long-term goal I had for 75,000 that's awesome and I know that you're gonna make it Cosmo person and also the other person on the line you're gonna make it too but you have to believe in yourself and sometimes belief just doesn't happen overnight it happens with repetitive action and you start sharing more content you start feeling more comfortable about showing up on your skin uh, in your own skin on social media instead of trying to be something that you know you think people are supposed to want to see from you because it really, it's hard to keep up with a persona. It's really hard to keep up with an act and, you know, doing things for the likes and the comments. Because that's not really what you're, you're, you're doing, you're here for, right? So, some more social media training. Um, check out the news. I know I share a lot of TikTok, Instagram, Facebook news, but I don't cover everything. I, to be very transparent with you, I only cover what I know you and most people are going to like. 
I'm not going to talk about something about Mark Zuckerberg when it has nothing to do with their peace of mind. If I find out that something wonky is happening with Instagram, I'll share it. But if you have the time in the morning, check out the TikTok news, check out the Instagram news. A lot of what's going on in the world impacts social media. And I think a lot of people, uh, they're starting to realize that now. And I'm not just talking about like uh, the stuff we saw earlier this year, like the you know, the, the, the uh, Trump stuff and all this other stuff. But the, the things that happen in the news, it impacts people's behavior. So when like, okay, phase two quarantine, I'm an entrepreneur, so I automatically know, okay, a lot of people are gonna be laid off. A lot of people are gonna be working or doing business from home. So what do I do? I start cranking up the content, meaning increasing my posts. So for all the per personal brands on the line, Now's your opportunity to shine because once this COVID-19 thing disappears, it's not guaranteed that we're going to be spending as much time on TikTok anymore. Now, uh, they are projecting that in 2021, uh, over a billion active users will be on this app. So now that we have from November to the December, pump out as much content as you can, show up as much as you can because once the, this becomes a billion you active user app, I'm not saying it's going to get like Facebook or Instagram overnight, but it's going to be even more competitive. So why not share your best content, start testing ideas before all of these people start rushing onto the app and make the most of your time. You know, um, one thing that I can say too is if you're running out of ideas, this is the first time I ran out of ideas today when I was batching my content. So what I did was I looked at the explore page. I checked the hashtag for the topics that I talk about. And I started looking at the, um, the videos that got the most views. And I did a screenshot of that. What I did was I used those topics, but I put my personal spin on it. And so when you're running out of ideas, check hashtags and check the things that you like the most and take a look at how those videos are performing. Like the top five this, or you know um, the top 10 this. And do similar videos like that. Thanks for joining MKS Hypno. Hey, what's up? Feeling good today? Uh, just joined in doing a social media training, uh, giving tips and advice for personal brands. This isn't necessarily for business owners this time. So if, if anybody has any questions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to help. I'll be here for another 15 minutes. Then I got to go. And so, uh, so I was saying earlier that they're projecting uh, TikTok users in 2021 to be a billion active users. I mean, the speed and growth of TikTok has outperformed Instagram in 2020 alone. Like Instagram is embarrassed right now because they slept on the video sharing feature. So what I was saying, MKS Hype Note, to everybody here, there are a couple more people on the line, is pump out your, the best content you can now. I don't know what's going to happen. If that uh, statistic is accurate and 2021, there are a billion active users on this app, that just says to me that there'll still be growth opportunities, but it will just be even more competitive. So I was telling everybody now, like if you can do one more piece of video a day, do it. Instagram wants to buy TikTok because TikTok is too much competition. I absolutely agree with you. I do believe that the TikTok owners, uh, you know, they declined his deal. I think that what they're what he's doing now is I noticed the other day on my Instagram story. When I click a photo and, or a video even and I upload it to Instagram stories, I can now promote it by doing a video. So the picture will show at the bottom and then my face will show here. So TikTok is, Instagram is really doing whatever it can take to wipe TikTok out of the water the same way it did uh, Snapchat, but it's not gonna happen. Um, the, the features here are so much better and I really believe that people can be themselves. I, I do believe MKS Hypno and everybody else I think if Instagram got rid of the photo feature and it just turned into a video sharing app, there could be some competitive advantage. But I don't think that Instagram wants to disrupt the relationships it's already built with people since that app has almost been on the market for, I think, 25 or th uh, 25 years, I think. So when you're doing your social media, everybody, TikTok is great. But remember, 2021, there's expected growth in the billions of active users. So uh, I was saying earlier, I actually, hey, Foxco, oh, Foxco, Fox School Boy. What's up? Oh, I'm doing good. Just talking about social media. Today, when I was batching my videos, I actually almost 
did I, I almost I had what they call writer's block, which is mean, which basically means like I almost didn't know what to do. So what I did is I checked a hashtag for marketing. I took a look at the top performing videos. I took a screenshot and then I filmed some uh, topics along those lines. But I didn't copy, copy those uh, content creators. I just put my top five this or whatever it is. And so when you're losing momentum, you don't know what to do. Um, just take a look at the hashtags. Take a look at the topics that the top performing videos are doing and replicate those. But again, put your own answers and your own uh, choices on there and kind of just put your own spin on things. Um, what else can I say about social media marketing? Um, I think testing is really important. Uh, testing is the key to success because the thing about TikTok is people have a really, really short attention span and you can do something for two or three months. It goes well. Then all of a sudden month three comes along and for some reason or another that t topic is a low performing topic that just basically means that people want to see com something completely different so here's what i do i'll give you my game plan every saturday morning i get a piece of paper and i look at the last two weeks of my TikTok videos i ask myself which videos did i get a little bit more views than the previous two weeks I write those topics down and then I say, okay, these are the topics that I'm going to focus on. I sketch out about an hour or two of my time and then I start filming those topics and I put those in drafts. That's why a lot of you see me wearing the same outfit. It's not because I don't have clothing in my closet. It's just I take uh, once a week and I just do all my videos and I put them in drafts. MKS Hypno says, I feel like if one has a good topic, then one will have a steady trend. I absolutely agree with you. I think that you're doing really great, MKS Hypno, and I see some other deaf comedian. You're excellent as well. I don't know exactly who the third person is, so I'm just going to assume you're a new follow, um, a new person. But you guys are doing really great. Keep up the great work. You know, um, I think I think the key to success on any social app is just to kind of like, you know, do what other people are doing, but be original. And the algorithm, this algorithm at least, it favors originality. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. And even just from a mental perspective, when I see a trend and then I see two or three other videos and I see the people doing the same thing, I kind of don't even care for that person. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but if I see somebody like literally copying the same trend by the t to the T, I don't even look at that person's profile because in my mind, I'm like, that's not really creative. I've already seen that on the For You page 10 times. But when I see a trend and people are doing something completely different, I think that's really cool. So here are my 2020 goals. My goal is to at least reach 3,000, no, at least reach four or 5,000 people before the end of the year. I highly believe that I'll get there, but it's not going to be easy. I feel like that first 1,000, you know, TikTok makes you work really, really hard. And then after you hit 1500 for whatever reason, it's just kind of like smooth sailing from there. But I want to show up for each and every one of you and just do something completely different. I know I'm not showing my face as much as I used to. I'm showing you guys like the kind of like the carousels and showing you like the tech stuff with the little um, photos that I'm doing. I'm just testing it because I want to, I'll do that for like a good month or two and see how it performs. If it's not performing the way I want, I'll probably put that to the side. But I am noticing that people like seeing my face more than the photo topics that I do. And that's really nice. That means that you guys are used to seeing my face. So maybe after month two, I'll stop doing that and see how it goes just doing what I used to do. But I must say that I, I've evolved and you will evolve too as time goes by. Uh, when I started on the app, I used to, hi Sunflower Knight, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Social media training today, eight more minutes. And of course I gotta go, it's a little late where I am. But uh, what else can I say? Yeah, like I'm sure many of you, you started off. So Cosmo Person says, TikTok does, not, does some sort of facial recognition. Hmm, does that mean that, are you trying to say that the facial recognition connects to uh, the number of views or trending viral opportunity or let me know a little bit more because I think I know what you're talking about. Does the algorithm have a trend? It seems like every three videos one blows off with views and likes. That's a good question. Uh, from what I studied with TikTok there are some a couple of things that the algorithm is looking for. Uh, the algorithm is looking for originality. 
Uh, the algorithm is looking for watch time. So let's take, for example, you have a 15 second video. Uh, the algorithm wants to see that people are watching your our videos, everybody's, to at least 13 seconds. Anything less than that. And they also want to see if people are repetitively watching your videos over and over again. So one thing I do like about MKX Hypno is your videos, the speed is very, very quick. And I actually catch myself watching your videos two or three times because you, I don't know if that's how Pokemon is like, but I noticed that because you speed up the video, it it um, motivates people to watch the video over and over again. So for all the people, and you do that too, Cosmo person, I've noticed that you speed up your videos, which is really cool. And if you're not going to do that technique, then make sure that your captions, your subtitles, they are only for two seconds or less. And uh, do that on purpose because you want people to go back and literally stop, press like, sorry, I'm just going to do like that. Press the, the, the stop and then pause. And then, you know, so there's certain tricks that you can do. I speed it up because the vid is like two minutes long. Oh, well, that's actually a great technique because... I'm forced to watch your video two or three times and I'm sure I'm not the only one. So that's, that helps you with signaling to the algorithm. Another thing I'll tell you, okay, so MKS says, how do I make my subtitle stop? I can only make it go the entire video. So the way you would do it is, um, okay, so when you write a subtitle, press it, press the subtitle and press edit. I think there's an edit where you can change the font and the color. And then you can also change the time that it disappears. So try that, like put a subtitle, press it, and then you'll see two options. You can edit the color in the background, or you can put like a time lapse as to how long you want it to go. And that should help you out. Um, other things about the algorithm that I know. Okay, so the algorithm works like this. Ah, I'll try that next time I make a video. Awesome. Five more minutes. Okay, I'll make this quick. Tap and hold down the next editing. That's right. There you go, Cosmo. So I've got five more minutes. I'll try to explain the algorithm as quick as I can. So there, okay, think of the algorithm as a video game. It is a pain, absolutely. Takes time out of my day, but it's kind of worth it. So the TikTok algorithm works like this. Think of it as a video game. Like you have to go from one, uh, one stage or one part of your video game to the next. That's how the algorithm works. So everybody's video, I don't know why some people say this, like, oh, I hope I get my video to the For You page. Everybody's video gets to the For You page, but this is how it works. Your video gets to the For You page, and then if your video hits, I think, five or 600 views, then it gets to another level, then it gets to the next level, and then it gets to virality. And that's how the TikTok algorithm works. I only have a couple of minutes, so I can't get into specifics. But you guys can check out a uh, YouTube uh, explanation of it. But all of our videos get to the For You page and then the algorithm waits to see how does it perform with our followers? Then how does it perform with people outside of our followers? And if it hits like a four, five to 600 views, it then goes into the thousands and then it just goes to different levels. And then it gets to virality. And that's where you see people having, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of views. It's because they went through the different phases of the For You page and got to virality. And the, the cool thing about this app is you can have a viral video and only have, you know, I've seen people who only have five videos and they have millions of views and not and only a thousand followers. So um, that's it in a nutshell, everybody. Social media training at its best. I've got four more minutes. If you have any questions, leave it below. Um, Martial arts, I do martial arts and Taekwondo, but they closed uh, in my area. They're closing like the fitness centers for two weeks. So I'll still be able to go live on Tuesday and Thursday, uh, same time, same place. I'm going to do my best to start going live on Saturday and Sunday in the morning um, because uh, the 6 p.m. It, it works, but I find that there's a lot more people on in the morning time. But I will, uh, I'll keep you posted on that. But for sure, Tuesday and Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. MKS says, I posted a view about two weeks ago, but I got like 50,000 views this week. Really delayed. Yes, I've been noticing. Well, congratulations to you, MKS. Well, I've been noticing that. I don't know if you, you are noticing, the both of you on the line, but uh, I'm noticing that the, uh, TikTok is pushing out old videos now. Like I'm seeing videos that I did in July that are being pushed out. And... Um, the last time I saw TikTok do that was in the summertime. 
So all your old videos are now being pushed out, which is creating a bit of a delay for your new videos. But that's not to say that your new videos won't go, you know, viral or uh, start trending either. Um, I did a video on yesterday and it was just like a, a duet that I did with Gary Vaynerchuk. He was talking to a little girl who wants to be a rapper. And I think that hit over a thousand or two thousand uh, views within a short period of time. But, uh, you know, I do see some delays within a day or two. I start to see the numbers going up. And uh, but I, they are pushing out old content, which is good because that just gives more exposure for people to learn about you versus just focusing on the new stuff that we're sharing today. And does posting two videos affect your views at all? I do know I've been doing a lot of studying um, on TikTok. If you're going to do two videos in one day, space it out. Like don't do like a video and then 15 minutes later you do another video. Try to do a video and then after an hour do your next video. And of course, like I always say, post when people are online. If you have a pro account, it's free on TikTok. Um, check analytics, check um, followers. And remember that time zone, it's not your time zone. That's uh, universal central time. So that's going to be, I think, like six or seven hours behind your time. Just make sure, you know, uh, if you're not sure, Google UTC time or UCT time now and just make sure that it aligns with your time zone. Same thing with Instagram, that's not uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's uh, Pacific Central Time. So I think that's like uh, two or three hours behind Eastern Time. So just make sure that you guys are posting at the right time. Oh, where is Central Time? What city? Central Time is like um, Vancouver, uh, like uh, California on the West Coast. Hi, Reschool, how are you? Glad you joined. And unfortunately, we're down to the last minute here. I wish I could stay longer, everybody, but I got some stuff to do on my laptop before I call it a night. So thanks for all of the questions, everybody. I really appreciate it. Social media marketing part two. I've got some more things to bring to, to deliver to you on Tuesday and Thursday. I'm gonna get off of the business stuff because not a lot of uh, business owners follow me. So I'll try to keep it contextual to your concerns and try to show up for you guys at least four times a week uh, for at least 30 minutes. I wish I can stay longer like some people, they go live for hours on end, but I just don't have that amount of time. That's what happens when you're a business owner and you don't have employees, you don't have all the time of the day. But uh, I'm not complaining, I'm just being honest. All right guys, enjoy your evening, stay safe, take care. See you on Tuesday or Thursday. Thanks for the new follower if you're still joining me and I hope you have a wonderful night. See you soon, bye.